Hello and welcome to our Saturday Sweaty Strength Session. I just made that name up just right now. I'm so glad you're here. First of all, thank you, thank you for coming. We have to get right into this because if you were here for the last one, I talked way too much. What's new? And then we were cutting it short <laughs> at the end of the workout because if you don't know, we have a cycling class after this as well and we have to switch everything around and get going. Did I turn the, yeah. I just wanted to make sure I turned the overhead light on. Okay, we're gonna get right in. Let me explain the workout first because we all know I can't explain the workout and do the warm up at the same time. So you're gonna need your dumbbells or if you have resistance bands, you can use those. Just some sort of resistance. This workout is going to work the lower body, but it's also gonna work the upper body. This is a full body workout. We are going to have a total of seven rounds. In each round, there are going to be two exercises that will repeat two times. Some of the exercises are one-sided, so you'll just see when we get there how that goes. We're gonna work 45 seconds. We're gonna get 15 seconds of rest, but after each round, so after the four exercises, we'll get 30 seconds to recover. So we just gotta stay focused for that 45 seconds and know that a break is coming. We're gonna start with a very quick warm up because I know it's early in some places, and then we'll get right into our strength workout. So let's start arm circles. Let's take them back and breathing. We actually have someone very special in the room right now. I'm not sure if he's gonna come out and play, but we will see. Once I probably go to the ground, he will. We, oh yeah, you might want a mat too. We will be on the ground. We're taking the circles forward. We'll be on the ground for just one round. All of the abs are gonna be standing today. Let's take him across. Good. And also this workout today, um, we are combining a lot of upper body and lower body moves at the same time. So while this is going to be a little bit more strenuous on the upper body, the lower body will get a good workout, but I know that we've got the bike after that. So I didn't want to be, you know, too, too crazy with the lower body. Take them out wide. We're going to do a sumo squat, slow down, slow up. Think about your form. Just using our body weight here. Weight is in your heels. We're going to do five reps here. Then we're going to do a little twist, stretch out the back chest a little bit, hip flexors, two more, and one more, down, hold it here, and just twist. And opposite side. One more each side. Good. All right, now we're gonna do a side to side lunge, so toes, straight in front of you and just holding it here for a second. Not bouncing it too, too much, but just trying to take it just a little bit deeper. Again, with the warm up, we don't want to hold the stretches. You just want to actively stretch those muscles. Get your chest up here. Last one this way. And then we're just going to take one leg out, stretching our hamstrings. So I'll just turn to the side so you can see. Good. And opposite side, hold it just for a second. Good, bring it up. Quick quad stretch, just shake it out. And then the first exercise we're gonna go into is, an, um, we're gonna stay on one side and we're gonna do a lunge with a hammer curl. So we're gonna take it back on the same side. And then that second exercise is going to be a regular curl, but we're gonna switch left. So pick something more or less for your biceps. We've got 45 seconds. All right, so hammer curl to a reverse lunge. As we lower down, we curl. Good, keep your chest up. And if this move is too intense, you can modify by doing a hammer curl down and then back into that lunge and then up. So just break the move up because this does actually challenge our balance muscles, our stabilizer muscle, muscles as well. Down and up. Good, keep your chest up, elbows pinned into your side. You know I gotta be chatting about that form all the time. I just wanna make sure that we can always keep working out together. Because if your form goes, sometimes injuries can creep in on us and that is no fun. I know, I've torn my hamstring. Still struggle with that little bugger sometimes. Let's rest, 15 seconds. 
point your toes if you need to, if you're excited for this rest. So we're gonna switch sides. And then we're gonna do a regular bicep curl. So it's gonna look like this, down and up. So palms facing away from you, 45 seconds. Let's begin. Keep your weight in your heel, in this leading leg here. Go ahead and keep your chest up. This week for the strength channel, actually, this workout too, is they're all full body workouts. This is the full body week. All full body workouts really working on our endurance, our muscular endurance. So yippee, I'm telling you what, that's gonna help you on the bike when it comes to climbs. So I'll be checking in to make sure you've been up in your resistance as needed. Almost there. Take it back. Make sure your chest is up, shoulders down away from your ears. Core is engaged. Let's just say we're done. We're done. The timer is up. We've got 15 seconds. We go back to the other side. So again, we've got a total of four exercises. Back into the hammer curl. You're gonna do the opposite leg leading back for that lunge. Let's go. Hammer curl, so palms facing each other, down and up. Again, that modification, do the hammer curl and then do the lunge. And if your knees bother you with lunges, try not to take it as low. Just take it a little bit higher instead of all the way down. And also glute bridges, if you do find you struggle with squats or lunges, glute bridges, that's where we're on the ground lifting our hips, such an awesome substitution. Also, yes, start your little watch, okay, we forgot about that. Oh, Lynn, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. All righty, take a rest and start your watch. I totally forgot about that. Oh, well, we can see how these workouts are gonna go today, right? <laughs> And if anyone heard the uh, title for the cycling ride, it is called the Painted Pug. Palms out, regular bicep curl, opposite leg now. <sighs> Down and up. And again, keep your chest up. <sighs> Core engaged. If you find that you're struggling with your balance when you do your lunges, you may be stepping back too far. So. Just take just a bit of a step back. I'll just turn to the side again, just in case. Sometimes it helps when you see someone else doing something or if you have a mirror to help guide you as well. That's super helpful. Wow, I was about to stay down there. I was like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, last one. And then we get 30 seconds of rest. <sighs> Amazing. All right, for this next round, we're gonna do two different exercises but we're gonna maintain this, a similar lower body exercise. So we're gonna do a normal stance Romanian deadlift, that's where you keep your palms close, and then we're gonna do a rear delt row. You might wanna get another set of weights because then we're gonna do a reverse grip sumo deadlift, down, row, and up. So I'm gonna get two sets of weights. I don't have a lot of time. Oh my, oh my gosh these live rides and the film rides I'm like yeah this is me okay Romanian deadlift rear delt and bring it up I'm gonna turn to the side again keep the weight close to your legs and up squeeze the glutes squeeze the hamstrings at the top your hamstrings the back of your legs there are what are pulling you back up so keep that muscle on your mind it's gonna help you Get the most out of your workout. Slow, lower down. And then we lift back up. Squeeze, down. Breathe, and up. Let's do one more, because we got a little bit of an extra break. Good, now if you were going a little heavier for your rows, switch the weights. This time, that sumo squat, reverse grip. So palms facing away. Take it out, but you still want to make sure you're maintaining a close stance here. Down, row to your belly button, right below your rib cage, actually, not your belly button. And then up. And then down, right below your rib cage, hold it. 
shoulder blades around your spine, down and up. And squeeze. Same thing though, you want to think about the hamstring muscles, squeeze the glutes. Bring it up, almost there, and then we repeat. Those same two exercises. Down and up. Okay, I am sweating profusely and I really did not want to have to change. In Who cares, right? Never mind, I'm not gonna change. I'm just gonna be sweating. Is that the rest? Are we on rest? We're rest? We're resting. I was having so much fun. I love anything sumo. Switch your weights. Let me dry off, of course, anytime. Grab a drink, dry off if you need to. Back to Romanian deadlift and rear delt fly. So lower it down, fly, and up. Down, up, squeeze. Oh, you're doing it. We're doing it together, actually. I love it. I love it when I know someone else is like totally sweating and burning with me right now. And squeeze. Don't forget about your core, which means think about belly button to spine. And squeeze. Last one. Fly. Slowly lower it down and pull up. All right. Switch your weights if you're doing that. I'm going to put you over here. Lift with your legs, not your back. Okay, sumo. Palms away. Reverse the grip. Row. Here we go. Slowly lower down. And row. Good. Down. And up. And up. Good. Don't forget to squeeze your glutes and breathe. And up. Just a few seconds left. Hitting every muscle group today. We're going to be waking things up. Maybe that we have not seen in a while. I feel like it's been a while since we've done rear delt flight, so I'm super excited about adding those. Last one. Good. All right. Now we're gonna bring it down to the ground. So grab a weight you feel comfortable with for chest press and close grip press. I'm gonna go up a little bit. Why, hello there. All right, um, how much time? Oh, we don't have much time. Okay, what we're gonna do is lay it back. We're gonna bring it up into a glute bridge here. So lift it and hold it, and we're gonna press. So if this is too challenging, you can alternate again. Lower down, up, press, and down. But if not, hold this glute bridge and press. Good, press, squeeze the glutes. We are isometrically contracting those bummers right now. Whew. Press and work in the chest muscles as well. Just about 10 seconds, come on, you've got this. Press. Next is the close grip. Good, last one. Lower it down. Now we're gonna lower the hips and we're gonna lift the hips, press, lower the arms, and then lower the hips. So, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, you, once you do a few reps, it'll, it'll, it'll flow. So let's begin. So we lift, press, lower your arms, then lower your hips. Lift the hips, press up to the sky, lower and down. Your palms are facing you. This is a close grip press, which still works our chest muscles, but those triceps are also working here. Good, lift, press, lower and down. Galva glutes. Whew. Down, slow and controlled. Don't rush through the exercises. And press. Oh, you're doing awesome. We'll say this is the last one. We've got a few seconds on the clock. Shake your arms out. Shake your 
glutes out if you want to do that. <laughs> and get ready, we're gonna go back into a chest press with that hold. So with that is isometric hold there, with the glutes up, let's get them up and let's get ready. So arms out wide now, now we've got the chest press. Again, keep your core engaged here. Modify, do one glute, um, do one chest press and then one glute bridge. So just alternate the two. Good. Come on, more than halfway. Things are getting challenging now. And press. Good. Down and up. You've got this. If you need to take a break, just let those arms rest down just for a second and then begin again. But this is the last one, so lower it down. Hips down. You're rocking it out. I hope things are burning. <laughs> We're gonna get a nice little recovery in between the strength in cycling if you're sticking around for cycling. All right, we're gonna go back into glute bridge, press, lower, lower. Here we go. Glute bridge, press, lower the arms, lower the bum. Up. Oh my. Triceps. Lift. Come on, think about those muscles working right now. A little bit of a brain teaser too because it's like which muscle should I think about they're all hurting right now <laughs> at least that's what I'm thinking I'm like what is this like what does she want me to think about I have no idea no I'm kidding you've got your glutes and the triceps down come on make sure the weight is in the heels press up press down let's just do one more oh I know that timer's gonna beat us but come on we're doing it down Whew, good all right, set the weights down. That's the only time we are down today, so let's bring it back up. All right. Now, we're gonna work the outer thigh here, the glutes here on the outer portions. I don't know. And we're gonna work the obliques as well. So grab some moderately light, moderately heavy, however you wanna look at it. We're gonna do a side leg lift to a bend, and then we're gonna switch. But we're gonna do one side, and then we're gonna switch. Here we go. And bend. Working the obliques, side, and bend. Good, lift, and lower. Again, working our balance, and lower it down. Now when you're doing this, the side bend, don't let your chest fall forward. So we're not here. Right down the leg. You don't have to bend far, but you do want to make sure that you were keeping good form, keep those shoulders rolled back and down, and think about you are stuck between two walls. <laughs> and you can only move side to side here. Last one, and down. 15 seconds, and then we just switch it over. This is a longer round. Things are going to be burning. But when you do that side bend, you do want to feel that right here in your obliques again, not far, and then come back up. All right, let's begin. Lift and lower. Good. And still thinking belly button to spine as well. And lift. You can do this without weight. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the round, but you probably picked up on that as well. Any exercise you can do without the weights. And down, and lift. Almost there. Last one, bend. Good. Grab a drink, dry off if you need to. Dry off quick. Feet just about shoulder width apart. We're gonna go back opposite side now. Here we go. Leg lift and slowly lower down. And lift and lower. Think about this side as well, pulling you back up. 
So it's a, it's a give and a take here with our muscles. And lift. We don't have enough time to do another whole set. So here we are. I like the 45 second timer because it's like a mini celebration after each exercise. Yeah, I did it. And then you get to the, the very end. And then we've got fireworks. Do we have fireworks, Jason, that you could add on? No. Maybe you can make it rain. <laughs> we'll celebrate with signs. There we go. It's raining, it's pouring. Okay. <laughs> and down. Lower, good. Again, don't let your uh, shoulders fall forward. Don't let your shoulders creep up. Down, lower, and lift. Good, lift. Let this side pull you back up as well, and lift. Last one, lift and lower. All right, next exercise, you might want two dumbbells as well, or you might want two different sizes of dumbbells, or you can use two dumbbells. We're gonna go into a sumo squat with a heel raise on both sides, then back up, then an overhead tricep extension. So grab a weight you feel comfortable with. And let's begin. Sumo squat, so lower it down, lift one heel, lift the other heel, and then raise yourself back up. Down, so we've got the calf muscles, inner outer thighs working right now, glutes, hamstrings. Holy mackerel, we got the whole team on board today. And up, good, keep your chest up. Still thinking about our form, and press. Again, if it's too much to hold this sumo squat the whole time, alternate. Come down, do one lift, and then come back up and then do the other side. Whew. Almost there. You breathe out right here as you press back up, breathe out there and then lower last time. And then you're gonna grab your weights for an overhead tricep extension. All right, I'm gonna, I am definitely not doing a tricep extension with that bad boy. We are gonna go for this one. I'm gonna use just one. Remember with the overhead tricep extension, core engaged, you can keep feet here or you can take a staggered stance, elbows close and let's go down and press up. So keep those elbows pinned in to your temples, core engaged. You'll feel that stretch in your tricep, lowering down just as low as you can and then pressing back up. Good. Think about that press and press away. Good. Breathing and press. Really, I am so glad that you came for this Saturday strength before the cycling party. Oh my goodness. Yay. I really, I'm coming to like these before cycling. Let's do one more. So if you do have a chance to type and tell us what you think, well, that would be helpful. We're switching. Sumo squat again, so grab your weight. And let's lower down. Again, this 15 seconds is like a breeze. Here we go. Down. No. Down. Heel lift. <laughs> heel lift. And up. Down. Lift one heel. Lift the other. And then up. Good. Down. Keep your chest up. And then press through your heels as you come back up. You kind of have to readjust your balance because you've been up on your toes. Get it in your heels and then press through the heels. Almost there. Last time through for this. What round are we on? We're on, we'll be on round six very soon. Let's do one more. Let's just do one more because it's so fun. Okay, we did it. All right, set your weight down, get ready. Tricep overhead extension. All right. 
So again, feet a little wider than shoulder width, staggered stance, however you feel comfortable. And let's begin. Down and up. Triceps may be tired from those close grip press exercises we did a couple rounds ago. And I don't know if you've noticed the new push-up workout that we have up now, but that workout is going to help you if you are working to do push-ups on your toes, you're doing them on your knees now maybe, or you're like, I'm not even gonna try to do a push-up because um, I've been there before. <laughs> push-ups used to be like my nemesis. I was like, you, not you. But now I love them and yeah, so I wanna help you love push-ups too. One more and then we are Dunzo with this one. Good, all right, 30 seconds. Let's see, I'm gonna use this weight. The next two exercises we're gonna do, um, we are gonna do a squat with a close grip press. Let me just show you. So we're gonna do, go down into that squat position, down, hold it, press. And then we're gonna do a squat with a twist. So we're gonna do a squat and then press up and twist. So we're gonna be working the obliques, shoulders, legs, glutes, we got it all. But that's the second exercise. So squat, close grip press, and let's begin. 45 seconds, down, up, and press. Down, and then press. We're not using the momentum right now to get this up. We're holding it for a second, and then we're using those shoulders to press up the weight. Good. Down, up, and press. You're more than halfway. You've got this. Come on. Whew. Almost there. I'm trying to talk myself into it right now, too. If you <laughs> Last one. Good. Lower it down. Now we're going to go into the twist. So. If this is something that you do not feel comfortable doing, of course, you can just go into a regular squat and then a press, but we really wanna work on our shoulders right now with that lower body. So here we go. Squat, lift, press. Opposite side now, squat and twist. Good, down. And press, I went way too heavy, I'm not even gonna lie. Here we go. You gotta do what you gotta do. No shame in going down in weight. So you can keep your form. Last one, good. I know the timer's still going, but. Drying off real quick. Grab a drink. All right, I'm gonna go back to this weight, I think. We are close to the end. How you doing? Squat and press. Squat, stand, then press. Close grip press. Good. Keep your chest up. Don't let it fall forward. As you come down into that squat, weight is in your heels. Thinking back like you're sitting into a chair and then up. Good. Down and up. Almost there. Three more reps. Down and press. Did you go heavy enough for this? And press, last one. Down. Whew. Yes. All right, squat to twist. Do what you need to do because this is the last time for squats and presses. All right, squat, up, and press. Squat, twist, good. You do twist on your toes too, so you will make that motion, so just make sure you get that squat back and then twist, squat position with your feet and your knees. 
and then twist. Yeah. Good. Oh, almost there. Let's do one more each side. Make sure it's even down and up. No weights for this last round. Last one. Good. Jason, you're gonna be teaching the cycling workout today after this one. <laughs> oh man. Oh yes. All right. What do we have next? Okay, next. This is the last round. We're gonna do opposite knee to opposite elbow, staying on the same side here. Think about the core. Think about squeezing and then down. And then we're gonna hold it really tight. You're gonna get those hips tucked. Let's go, I'll, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. Squeeze. Hold it for a second here as you squeeze. Good. All standing abs today. Boy, can you feel it. Good. So for that second round, then we'll switch sides. So remember which side you're on. <laughs> Let's do one more. Good, all right, so this next exercise, very small move. When we stand, sometimes we stand with our bum out, our stomach kind of come, tuck the hips, keep that core engaged, then this is the position we need for this exercise. We're gonna do side bend, tuck, side. Side bend, tuck, and side. Very small movement. Engage your core now, and then just bend and bend. And squeeze, good. You can see this is a very small movement, but if you have your abs engaged, you are gonna feel it big time. You wanna think about letting all of your breath out right during those squeezes. Squeeze. Almost there. And last one. Good. Now, opposite side from what you did, from knee to elbow. And then we probably will not have much time after this because we're probably gonna have to get ready right away for the cycling class. So I'll, we'll talk quickly after that. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Same position here. Get your hips tucked under. And twist. Just from daily life, just from sitting, things like that, we do tend to get that arch in our back. I know I have, I, I do the same thing. So I have been super aware, I've been trying to be anyway, super aware of that. And strengthening your core muscles, just thinking about engaging them can really help that. And twist. We're gonna finish out with those squeezes. And then we're gonna fill up our coffee cups, maybe have a little snack of ski and then get ready for cycling. 10 seconds and we go. So remember, get the positioning now, tuck your hips under, squeeze, think belly button to spine. I mean, even the glutes are squeezing right now. And we're just gonna do a side, small side bend, squeeze to the center and side bend. Let your air out as you bend. Good, and bend. Don't lose that contraction in your core. Bend, squeeze. Sometimes it's those little moves and you're like, I'm barely doing anything. Why does it hurt like this? Not hurt, but why does it burn like this? Squeeze, good. One last time through, side bend. Center and squeeze. We just did it. That was it. Okay, we probably do not have much time. So yes, we have one minute. 
before we have to go we'll get everything situated for the cycling class. If you were joining for cycling, yes, 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 that'll be over on the cycling channel. But I want to thank you so, so much for joining in this workout. If this is your last workout for the day, make sure to get a stretch. But if you were joining us for cycling, fill up your water bottle, get your towel, and get ready to rain.